Hello guys, subscribe to our video. Subscribe to our channel, it would mean a lot to us. If you use the like button, then you can see another video. <laughs> so today, we're going to do a just talk. Why? I forgot it. You forgot it? Yeah, we are gonna actually talk, aren't we? We are gonna talk. Hi guys, so today we are doing the get to know me slash mummy tag. Um, I've never done like an introduction of any sort. This is Lily. Hello guys. You, she, see, you see me for having... <laughs> so you wanna tell them a little bit about you, who you are? I still hang on guys. School. Yes, so Lily's starting school next week, which she's so excited about. We just got her school uniform, so we're all ready to go. <laughs> she is three years old. She is my daughter. I had her when I was 19 years old, and I am currently pregnant with baby brother. No, that's chilled on him. He's here. <laughs> big belly big belly <laughs> so yeah that's a little bit of background about us if you want you can go and play and then I'll answer the questions I'm gonna answer the questions can you tell me not uh, then I'll do it okay uh -huh. can you tell me uh, one by one and then I'll do it okay okay tell me one hold on because I need to find them Oh, yeah, here they are. Um, are you a stay-at-home mum or a working mum? Um, and then I'm with this little angel, the rest down. of them. Okay. She got bored, so I had to entertain her a different way. Um, yes, yeah, so a uh, working mum. But I'm maternity to leave at the moment. My hair's looking a bit insane. It's a bit annoying. But... What having dirty hair does. Would you have it any other way? Um, I love my job. I do. And I love that I get to like hang out with adults. And just, I don't know, be in a different environment. But I would love to like spend all my time with my children. I would love, I don't know, like sometimes... I have to take it in turns with like my daughter's dad to like pick her up because either he's working or I'm working so it can be quite hard and tedious but so I don't know there's pros and cons as there is to anything I guess. Do you co-sleep? Not anymore. I mean I do at five in the morning but for the most part, we don't co-sleep with Lily. We did for nearly two years, which is a long time. I wasn't planning on doing it, but it's just the way and is the way it worked out and it worked really nicely and she slept a lot better. So yeah, it wasn't hard to put her into her own bed and transition her off. So if you ask me if I would do it again, I would. What is your one must-have item for your baby? Mm, one, just one. For baby. Well, now I have a toddler. One must-have item, snacks. Snacks. I hear that word about 20,000 times every day, all day. After breakfast, she wants a snack. After lunch, she wants a snack. Before lunch, she wants it. During lunch, she would like a snack. So snacks, snacks, definitely snacks. How many kids do you plan on having? Uh, well, my partner and I have spoken about it, and guys. he just wants the two. However, I want four. Like I love really big families. I only had there was only um so yeah four children i would love to have but we shall see after this one how i feel 
date nights how many nights per month i love i used to make it a thing to, to have two date nights a month but the last time we had a date night was but i cannot remember the last time that we had date night so yeah that sucks but we still have like loads of like family meals like we go out all the time at least like once a week but we just take lily with us your child's favorite show what's your favorite tv show sophia the first and dr mcstuffins sophia the first and dr mcstuffins how many cars does your family have? Just the one. We only have one car. Weight gain before pregnancy, during and after and now. Well, I'm currently pregnant. This pregnancy so far, I have gained a stone. Uh, with Lily, I gained 30 pounds by the end of the pregnancy. She was 10 pounds, basically. So, I mean, I lost most of the weight by the time I'd given birth to her and within like three weeks i was like four pounds away from my pre-pregnancy weight and then i got really lazy and i never ever ever lost those last four pounds so i was just stuck on four pounds and then i fell pregnant with this baby and yeah i'm a stone up a stone at four pounds dream holiday with your kids probably Disneyland, Florida. Is it Disneyland, Florida? Walt Disney? Disneyland is the Paris one. Disneyland, Florida. And I'd be happy. How has your life changed since your baby has been born? Um, I guess being a mother, your life changes either way. Before I had children i was like really spontaneous and i was like just like doing things like getting things done um whenever i felt like it whereas now everything's a little bit more structured finish the sentence it makes my heart melt to see my child how manners i guess when like she's really polite or when I don't have to remind her of her manners or anything like that. It just makes me really proud. It makes me proud to make her see, proud of, to make her see, to see her be proud of herself. Like if we'll go to like a restaurant and when the waiter can't bring to our food, she's like, thank you. And then the waiter's like, oh, she's so polite. Uh, she gets like, she gets this like look to her face where I know she's like really pleased and proud of herself and i'm sure i must have the same look on mine but that's probably one of my favorite favorite things and it definitely makes my heart melt where do you shop for your kids um zara number one definitely next i've just discovered i don't know why but i absolutely love it um baby gap it's also one of my favorites TK Maxx. I definitely love a bit of TK Maxx. It's nice. It's you can find some really good bargains there, but you really have to dig and you have to go there with without kids and with loads of patience. Favorite makeup and skincare products. Mm, my favorite makeup products are probably I don't know. I've got a lot of makeup products that I love. Maybelline mascaras are the best thing ever. I don't really have like a favorite brand. I feel like everything that I use is like from like a different place. NARS. Mm, I love NARS. Yes, NARS would have to be it for makeup. And for skincare, I'd say Kiehl's. I'm really, really into Kiehl's at the moment. I use their daily for, for Vita something oil um and the night one the day one is a yellow bottle like a mustard bottle and the night one is a navy blue bottle the night one smells like lavender and i'm not a great 
fan of lavender so I don't use it as much but it's very hydrating for the skin and then I love like their face masks their eye cream is really nice oh and their lip balm is the best thing ever if you suffer from chapped lips in the winter or any t year round I guess the Kiehl's lip balm try it it will not fail you it's a little bit pricier I'm mean, not really it's like nine pounds and it's quite a big bottle I actually have one there um it's this one <laughs> it's not going to focus but it's this Kiehl's um uh, lip balm and this one's the mango one I also have the like the normal one I'm going eyelash my eye uh, but I mean either one they're both really great I'm gonna put them on now I have really dry lips all year round and I've tried like the comic stuff and I've even tried like MAC lip balms and stuff like that and just nothing works so I use that and I've actually started wearing liquid lipsticks a lot more because my lips are just really really soft <laughs> soft enough to wear liquid lipsticks. Um, Huggies or Pampers? Hmm. Pampers nappies. Yeah, Pampers nappies. I don't think I ever bought Huggies. No, I never bought Huggies. Yeah, Pampers all the way. Have you uh, have you always wanted kids? I have. I've always known I wanted kids since I was a little girl. I didn't know I wanted them so young but things work out the way things work out and I am really happy with my children well my child and child to be and the last question is the best part about being a mum I don't know just knowing that you have this child and you're shaping them and you're helping them become something and someone in life I think that's quite powerful I feel so lucky with Lily as well like she's not naughty but she's just genuinely really nice and I just I just love her I'm not biased at all but I love her so much uh, so that's the end of my video bye thank you so much for watching um subscribe to our video subscribe to our channel it would mean a lot to us if you click the like button, then you can see another video. <laughs> Bye! Bye!